Hello and welcome to the video! Uh, today we're gonna go back to a game I played a little while ago, and it was called Slay the Spire. Now if you're with me for a while now, then you'll know, and then you'll recognize this game from when I used to play it. Uh, if you haven't, then the quick rundown of the game is this is a deck building RPG game where you have to slowly make your way up a giant flight of stairs in a giant spire and defeat monsters as you go. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to do a silent run because I sucked at it before from what I remember, so let's do this. Uh, I have Ascension level 1 going on, which I do plan to get through eventually. I hope I'm going to win through it. But according to what I'm, according to information that I am now being informed of, uh, there's actually a fifth level, I think is what it is, a fifth le level to the tower. Which is if you can get all of the three pieces that, like as you beat every character you get a red piece for this guy, a green piece for this one, and a blue piece for you. If you can collect all three of them in one run, you can get to a fifth floor which has the actual boss boss of the game. And I think what I want to do is I want to try and make my way to that. Now I'm going to record for a while here and probably cut it up and send it out in multiple episodes because I'm kind of trying to get a lot out is like a lot of buffer videos going out for me since I have a lot of tests and stuff coming up soon which means that for the next week or so I'm gonna be pretty much out of commission so yeah I'm gonna see what I can do anyways with that all said let's get started Okay, so starting this off, we have the options of obtain a random colorless uncommon card, obtain a random common relic, I can lose all my gold but obtain two random colorless card cards, or lose my starting relic and obtain a random boss relic. Now, the thing about boss relics is I like to be able to choose between them because a lot of them have very bad outcomes. Like, a lot of them are possibly detrimental to my run and then a lot of them can be very good for my run. Uh, this specific run I'm looking to try to work poison in at every possible angle. Uh, I can lose all my gold which is not a very big loss to start with. In fact I think I'm gonna go with lose all gold, obtain two random colorless cards, um, obtain a random common relic. Well I mean there's nothing wrong with it but this this feels like a bit of a wasted opportunity to me. Uh, because with the lose all gold, gold obtain two random colorless cards, uh, it's going to give me two colorless cards, which are, I'm pretty sure either those are the ones that are, like, they don't fit in with the rest, like, they're the, like, miscellaneous cards, or they're, like, a card from any of the, any of the item pools for either the silent, the ironclad, or the defect, so... We're gonna see what that does and obtain a random colorless uncommon card. I mean, that is, that's half of what I would get from this one, but I don't have to lose all my gold, but I don't have much gold to start with anyway, so, you know, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see. I'm gonna lose both panic button and thinking ahead. Okay, so this isn't the, uh, full, this isn't every item pool, this is just a colorless card is, I guess, just the mi miscellaneous like I was thinking. Now, Here's, now what I got is Panic Button, which is you gain 30 block, but you cannot gain block from cards for two turns, which is very bad for me, actually, because I've never really been in that sort of a scenario, but I might keep it simply because it would take, it's going to take more than what, what it's worth to get rid of. And then we also have Thinking Ahead, which is draw two cards, put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile, which means that if I have, like, neutralize which only la which gives uh, the opponent weakness for one turn and they're already not or I can already block all the damage that they're doing but the next turn I might not be able to then I could use this card uh, on neutralize and that card will come in at the next hand so I could then use that at least it's pretty sure what that is so let's see what what path are we gonna take Th this episode is gonna be a lot of strategizing first because I got to get the basis starts started up but I mean, yeah, once we get going, we'll start, we'll get going. So let's see. Um, I think this far left side over here is looking pretty good to me. In fact, I think what I want to do is I want to stick to the far, far left. 
So I'm not going to make any veers. I'm going to try my best just to go only left, at least for this first floor. Uh, let's see. First things first, let's go ahead and... You know what? Here, since I have it anyways, I'll do that. And I can go there, there, there. Now I've, now I've dealt damage to all of them, and it didn't cost me anything to block all of their damage, so that's good. Let me see. Uh, neutralize, deal three damage, apply one weak. I can do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do there. So I've dealt a good chunk of damage. I'm not going to add it all up again. But I've dealt a good chunk of damage. Uh, I'm going to use thinking ahead on the... On, well, wait a minute. You know what, I'll use it on Survivor, because if I have a useless card at the end of my hand next time, then I can use that. Let's see. Slimed, alright. So, what do we got? We have Survivor, Defend, Strike, Strike, and Defend. Uh, he's dealing 10 damage next, so I'll use... You know what, I'm just gonna do a bunch of strikes, because that's gonna kill him off. Yep, right there. Okay, gotcha. Now, let's see. Uh... I have the option of Caltrops, which are very good for me. I like, I, I really like going the power route. Uh, we have set up, put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. It costs zero until played. Uh, Caltrops is whenever you are attacked, deal three damage back. Acrobatics is three, uh, do you, draw, yeah, draw three cards and discard one card. So I can get a, what is almost a two card short of a second draw minus one card. I think I'm going to go Caltrops because I'm certain about what it does and how it works and the best way that I could use it, so I can do that. Uh, let me see, I want to go Neutralize to you, one Defend, and then two Strikes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. I don't need to use that card right now. So now they're both going to come out of their little cocoons, which means that... Neither of them can go back into their cocoons, which are not cocoons, their little ball form, uh, which means that neither of them can put in more defense onto themselves. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill off you and try to block all incoming damage from this next shot. So I did indeed block all the damage. He took three damage, which is good for me. Uh, well, it, I guess. Uh, it's not going to do anything this turn, so I guess I'll just hit it with a strike and... I guess that's it, really. None of the other cards are really going to do me anything. He's using Spit Web, which makes me weaken, which means I'm going to do less damage, which is an issue. But, I mean, he's dead right now after I've used a weak or after I used the weakness card on him and attacked him with a. What did I use? I used a new uh, neutralize and strike. God, that took me way too long to figure that one out. Uh, and now my options for getting a card are Infinite Blades, which I think I'm going to go for it, because again, power cards, I am a pretty big fan of those. And Shivs are pretty good too. Uh, Infinite Blades does, at the start of your turn, add a Shiv into your hand. A Shiv is basically a card that doesn't cost anything to play, but it deals some attack damage, which is basically another way for me to say that it's guaranteed at least 3 damage uh, every turn, unless I have Weakness, in which case it's a guaranteed 2 damage. Uh, Sucker Punch is just a stronger version of the Strike, and Bane is deal 7 damage if the enemy has poison, deal 7 damage again. I think I'm going to go with Infinite Blades because that just kind of works with the little deck that I've got going so far. Uh, let me see. Do I have any fires coming up? I do have one, but it's not going to be until after an Elite, so I'm going to want to keep my health as much as I can. Well, I mean, duh, of course I am. That's always kind of been the goal, but, you know... I gotta remember that even more. I'm gonna do that and I'll do there. Here we go. So I've applied him with weakness, which is going to be good for me. My power is unmatched! No, it's not. Anyways, uh, let me see. So we're gonna use infinite blades, which is gonna give me a shiv next turn. Uh, I'm going to use survivor, which is going to require me to discard what I'm going to pick is the panic button and attack him, so now he's not going to do any damage to me, but I've dealt a grand total of 6 damage to him. Uh, he has Ritual on him, which means that he, uh, he at the end of its turn it gains 3 attack damage, which means that i got to get rid of him as fast as possible. 
Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do two blocks and one strike along with one shiv. Since I need to block as much of the incoming damage as possible because I need to conserve my health for the elite battle. Assuming that I'm going to need it there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go all out on attacks and see if I can kill him. Yes I can. Alright, there we go. Now let's see, I got 10 gold smoke bomb and add a card to my deck. I have flying knee, sucker punch, outmaneuver. Outmaneuver does uh, next turn gain 2 energy. Sucker punch, we already went over that. And flying knee is deal 8 damage, next turn gain a point. I'm going to take... Uh, mm. I'll take flying knee because this way I know I'm getting something out of it. Outmaneuver... It's good, don't get me wrong, but if you don't have your entire deck memorized or you just get an unlucky draw or something, then that can become very unfortunate for you. Uh, let me see, so I'm going to go from here, I'm going to, what is this thing? So escape from a non-boss non -boss combat, receive no rewards. So I'm going to use both of my defense right here so they block all incoming damage from these guys, which will be very good for me. Right, uh, grow. That is a permanent increase in, th or a permanent three, uh, strength to them, effectively, which means bad news for me. Uh, one minute. I can pro I can out- I can take you out, which is fine by me. Uh, I don't want to use the attacks on both of you, because neither of you are dealing any attacks to me, and this gets rid of your little defense thing, which I hate so much. Uh, he's got more damage, which is even worse, so if he attacks, I'm pretty sure I can't- Yeah, I can't block that, but I can kill you. Uh, I can't kill you. Uh, oh crap, one minute. Ew. You know what? Panic button. That works. Fine by me. And... Yeah, that's gonna be the end of my turn. And I didn't use a single energy somehow. Let's see, seven damage. I blocked all incoming damage. Go figure with a card like I've used. Now let's go ahead and kill them. There we go. Now my options for rewards, 15, uh, 15 gold, ghost in a jar, which is gain one intangible, and adding a card to my, my deck. What the heck was I waiting for there? Uh, apply 99 vulnerable and exhaust with terror. Finisher, which is deal six, uh, deal six damage for each attack played this turn. Which, if I couple that with my shivs, then I can deal a lot more damage. And prepared is draw one card, discard one card, which means that I can basically exchange one of my cards for a random card from my deck. I'm gonna go finisher because I have an idea with shivs and the finisher. That plus, if I use that instead of a strike at the end of my turn, then if I've used two strikes, like if I'm going entirely assault on that turn, then I've only gained, um, then I've only gained an extra strike effectively. Uh, let's go you, you, and I'm going to use Survivor to try to minimize the damage I'm about to take, though I can't make that zero. Well, I could have taken Ghost in a Jar, but I'm going to save that for the Elite fight, so I'm pretty much saving as much as I can for that. Let me see. I'm going to use... I'm going to use Shiv, because that's not going to matter. Uh, thinking ahead, I'll think about that. Eh, get it? Eh? Anyways. I use Defend. I don't... I don't think I'm going to use Panic Button yet. Let's use Flying Knee, Strike, and I'll put Panic Button back to the beginning of this, because I might need it then. Uh, so he's taking three damage from me? Or he's taking three of my uh, health? Yes, he is. Okay. So, with that said, I can now put a... a minute, why is my cursor not appearing anywhere? There we go. Uh, so I can neutralize him, which is going to make him deal less damage. I can use Strike, or I can use Shiv, which dealt 3 damage, I think. Uh, and I can use 2 Defends, which is going to completely protect me, and attack him again. So now he has 12 out of 49 health points, while I'm still at 57 out of 70. Uh, let me see, Shiv, 4 damage, not 3, 4. Uh, I can use Flying Knee and Shiv, and that kills him off. Alright, cool, cool. So I'll get 14 gold from that, and I can add a card, which me, which I am going to say is going to be... Hmm. 
I might get Piercing Whale. Uh, so the card options this time are Piercing Whale, which is all enemies lose 6 strength this turn. So... I could... well, for the most part, that'd probably nullify any attacks. Uh, Dash, which is gain 10 block and deal 10 damage. But that takes 2 uh, points of power instead of 1 like all the ones that we've come across so far. And then we have fl Flechettes which is an attack card that deals 4 damage for each skill in my hand. But I'm more focused on making a power-based one right now, so I think I'm just going to go for Piercing Whale, which is kind of ironic, because I just said about the power cards, and this is a skill card, but, yeah, you know, details. Now we're going up against the big bad here. Let's kick on the Elite, and he is the one that likes all of his defense. Is, are you the one that gains block or loses block? Uh... I think you lose a block every time I deal damage to you, so I'm gonna do Caltrops, uh, Infinite uh, Blades, and I think that'll be fine. Is there anything else that I have in here that I want to use? I want to see if I can get Flying Knee so I have a bit more uh, damage to start with. A minute. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Draw two cards, put the top one. Alright, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna use Flying Knee right now, which should deal. Eh, well, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna put Piercing Whale to the bottom, because I think I'm, I'm gonna wake him up right now. Let's do Flying Knee, Shiv, Strike, and Finisher, which is gonna deal. 6. 18 damage? 16, no. I think that's 18 damage. One minute, I want to turn on the... One minute. Display summed up summed up damage in gold. Yeah, that's going to work. just want to get that up there because I'm not going to do the math there for that. So let's see. He doesn't. He's not going to put on any more defense, I don't think. But he does have pretty high attack. Um, right now, I could use piercing whale neutralize and then put a block on to try to nullify a lot of his damage and then i can just wail on him with a bunch of other attacks uh all right he dealt a good uh, good chunk of health to, or a good chunk of damage to me which is not good for me but you know what can i do so I'm going to use Defend, Defend, Strike, and Shiv. It's going to deal, or going to protect me a good chunk. Uh, actually, I'm going to use the Ghost in a Jar to gain one intangible, which is going to mean that he's only going to deal one damage to me. Which means that I did waste a couple of my energy for the other things, but I don't think his damage gets higher than 18, so, you know, at least in my eyes, this is kind of worth it. Uh, let's do Flying Knee so I have an extra point next turn. Shiv, Strike, and I guess that's a quick block in case that helps me at all. I don't think it will, but yeah, you know, details. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. What do we got going on here? So we have Shiv, Defend, Finisher, Strike, Survivor, and Defend. Um, I'm thinking that we just go full out defense mode right here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's go for as much defense as we can get, which is 15 defense against his 18 attacks. So I'm taking 3 points of damage anyways. But that's definitely much better than taking 18 points of health. Because that would suck. Now uh, let's see. Shiv, Survivor, Defend, 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 and Strike. Uh, what is your health looking like? Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to, to uh, block all of his attack again, which is going to, again, take three health from me, which is not good, but again, nothing I can do about that. I just realized that I have a decrease attack damage by one strength thing on me, so that's not good, but I don't think there's any way for me to stop that, and it doesn't matter anymore because he is dead. Uh, we have the specimen. Whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison it has... Oh! Ooh! 
Whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to a random enemy. And poison. Poison creatures lose HP at the at the start of their turn. Each turn, poison is reduced by one. Okay, this is really good. This means that if I load up one enemy with a bunch of poison or something, which works out well for me because there's a card that I don't know what it's called right now, but there is a card that doubles poison. Uh, I think it's Catalyst, I want to say is what it was. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, but if I do that, it'll deal a lot of damage to the next person who's going to absorb all of their poison instead of it just disappearing entirely. So I can very much so afford to go overboard on some of the enemies. Now we have the three card option of Predator, which is going to be deal 15 damage next turn, draw two additional cards. Uh, draw two additional cards next turn, rather, but eh. We have Choke, which is deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn. The enemy loses 3 HP, so deal th uh, 12 damage, and whenever I play a card, he will lose 3 HP, which is good. Uh, Dagger Throw, which is a better version of Strike, it seems, which, which deals 9 damage. Uh, I can draw one card and discard one card, so I can replace one card in my deck. I think I'm going to go with Choke because that seems effective. I got 29 gold and an energy potion, which is really good, actually. Uh, rest or recall? Um, minute, what do we have ahead of us? We have another boss fight. Uh, well, elite fight, rather. What are the possibilities for me upgrading? What, ha what would happen if I upgraded Caltrops? 5 damage for attack. Uh, with infinite blades, add a ship. Oh, it's an 8. That would be good. Yeah. Uh, if I upgraded Choke, uh, it would lose 5 HP instead of 3 per card. Uh, lose 8 uh, strength with Piercing Whale if it got upgraded. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and rest, because I don't really want to push my luck any more than I need to. So let's take on this next Elite. This next Elite is... Oh boy, it's the... Uh, it's the Sentry. So there are 3 opponents, little Diamond guys. Uh, let's see. We have... I will neutralize you... Oh crap, I can't neutralize him, that's right. Um, okay, that didn't go well. Let's use Infinite Blades, um, Piercing Whale, which will get rid of both of these guys' uh, artifact, I'm pretty sure is what it is. And it will stop you from dealing too much damage, which I can block entirely now by using Defend. Uh, let's see. Now, if I can get the choke card, which I did just have, so I'm not going to get it anytime soon, because i got to go through my entire deck first, and it's a bit bloated at the moment. But if I can get that card with some shivs and a panic button, and there's the panic button. If I can get uh, thinking ahead, panic button, and shiv, all of those with the choke card, then I could deal some massive damage to uh, somebody. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say... Let's do... hmm. This is going to be the highest damage they're going to deal to me, so I'll go ahead and use Panic Button there. And I want to attack this first sentry, because if I can get one of these sentries off their... Like, off the path... If I can stop them both from attacking at the same time, the two far uh, sentries, then I'll only have to at most uh, tank 9 damage, and I can probably block that using any cards I have at my disposal. Uh, that said, with thinking ahead, I'm not going to use it, because I do want to get that with Choke. And it wouldn't really help to have a Defend in my next hand, really. Alright, let's see. So I have Defend, Strike, uh, Survivor, Strike, and Finisher. So I guess what I can do is Strike, Strike... Uh, Shiv, and then the finisher, and that'll entirely get off, or that'll entirely destroy the first guy. Uh, I'll actually use the energy potion now. Ah, oh, crap! That was a bad idea. Okay, I've just wasted an energy potion because I forgot that I pressed panic, or I did the panic button card, so I can't gain any block, so I was already losing health this turn no matter what. This is good, though, since now after my no block uh, effect wears off, I can defend independently th what these guys are dealing. So I can use Neutralize on you to stop you from dealing more damage. Uh, strike, Strike, 
strike and shiv. So now you're down to 10 health, which is good for me. But I'm still taking 6 damage from you, and I got 2 days that had added to my uh, yeah, added to my discard. So let's go ahead and uh, defend, defend, shiv, finisher. So that gets rid of one of them, and then defend again, since it really doesn't matter. Uh, now I'm not taking any damage from this attack, but I did kill off one more of the sentries. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the choked card. So he's going to take damage for every card that I play. I'm going to discard Daze while using Survivor, so that's going to deal damage to him too. I'll equip, or I'll use Shiv, which is going to deal a lot more damage too. So now he's down to 11 health from his 39 that he had before. Choke is worn off off of him, so that's not good for me, but, you know, details. Uh, now, I think I'll be able to just bum rush him with attack cards. Oh, I'm not able to. Uh, I'm going to use two defends to use, uh, stop in any incoming damage, and let's see. Draw two cards. I w would, but that's not necessary right now because the only card that I could could have gotten is Shiv, since I have already run out of all the points that I could have used, and that wasn't going to happen. But anyways, he died from my Caltrop, so that works. I can get 34 gold and bag of marbles at the start of each combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Yes, uh, vulnerable means that all creatures will take 50% ha uh, more damage to my attacks. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take that, and now I have the choice from three cards of Eviscerate, which is cost one less energy, sorry, energy. Cost one less energy for each card discarded this turn, deal six damage three times. I have After Image, which is whenever you play a card, gain one block, which I really like. And then I have Acrobatics, which is draw three cards and discard one card. I'm gonna go again for another power card because man these are overpowered. Eh? Eh? Get it? Funny? Funny? Uh, right. uh, let's see. I'll get... I have the option between Sapphire Key and Clippers. I do need to gather up the keys but Clippers would mean that if I overdo it, do it with my block then I won't lose all of it if I get more than 15 block. But the thing about this is, is that I'm only ever going to have at most 15 block. Because the three, or the three highest cards that I can get, or the three highest uh, block cards that I have are all five cards. I guess that in a rare scenario I could have after image equipped and use three defense. So I would have 15, 16, 17, 18 uh, block, but three block isn't quite worth it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Sapphire's key. So we're one step close, or one step out of three to getting to the uh, fifth floor. Fifth floor. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to use... Oh boy. Um, hmm. I want to use Flying Knee on him since that won't wake him... I take it back, it did wake him up, and that's an issue. Okay, let's just go hammer on him with some strikes and stuff. If I, if I had known that it wasn't going to wake, or that he was going to wake up, then I would have just skipped the turn so that I could have gotten any power cards I can on me. Alright, let's go... Caltrops, Infinite Blade... And let's go block... Yeah, block. And attack him once. So now I'm taking 13 damage, and he took 3 for his own attack, which is good for me, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I can do... I can do Piercing Whale, which will reduce how much damage he's dealing to me. Uh, I can go for Thinking to see what I can get from this. Uh, or Thinking Ahead. I'm going to put After Image onto the top of my next thing, so that I can use that. My next uh, card that I'm going to draw. I will use Strike and Shiv, followed by a Finisher, so that's going to deal 12 more damage to him. And I'm taking a full 12 damage, which is absolutely horrible. 
but honestly there was not much I could have done to stop that anyways, except for maybe a 5, I don't remember if I had a uh, negate 5 damage, but eh, you know. Anyways, I got after image now, I'm going to equip that because, you know, yeah. Uh, I can neutralize, which will put weak on him, but the weakness won't mean anything. I can use Shiv, and like that, he has 40 out of 109 HP. Um, honestly, I shouldn't really use anything else this turn, because not much would happen if I did. Uh, right now we have Ring of the Snake. Uh, this is just the... Uh, what are they? What are they? The relics that I have? I have Ring of the Snake, which means I'm going to draw two additional uh, cards when I first start the combat. The Specimen, which is, you know, all the poison stuff, which I haven't gotten any poison cards so far, which is a little bit unnerving. Because that means that that was a wasted shot. Or a wasted relic. Right, and then we have Black Bag of Marbles, which I guess I took advantage of here because I struck him with... That's why he got up! Okay, I forgot about Bag of Marbles. So I did deal 8 damage to him, but he also took 50% more damage, I suppose. So he actually got up from it this time, since it actually... Okay, I gotcha. Sorry, that may not have made much sense, but I dealt more damage than I thought I did with my first move, which is why he got up instead of just staying down. Anyways, uh, let's see. So I'm going to use... Let's go for... I'm going to use Survivor and use the and discard finisher. I'm going to use two blocks to try and block as much damage as possible here because he's dealing 18 damage which I cannot risk taking. So I blocked all of the damage thanks to my uh, what is it my after image and now I can go ahead and let me see I'm going to use choke which is going to deal an immediate uh, 10 damage or 12 damage. I'll use Stripe, which is going to deal 5, and then another 3, and Shiv, which is going to do the same thing, but with 3 damage instead of 5. So now he's down to 9 health. He's going to attack me and take 3 damage himself, but I'm also taking 15 damage, which is not good. Uh, let's see, I can now I can end him with a Choke, which I'm going to go ahead and do. So, uh, let's see, uh, ooh. So I got 28 gold, and then I got a mango, which means I'm going to increase my max health by 14, which is awesome, and add a card to my deck. Uh, there we go, finally some poison. Uh, let's see. So, oh, uh-oh, okay, um, so we have Crippling Cloud, which is apply 4 damage, or 4 poison, and 2 weak to all enemies, and exhaust it. I have Deadly Poison, which I can use, which isn't exhaustible, but it deals 5 damage per use. And then I have Blade Dance, which is add two shivs into your hand. I'm gonna go with Deadly Poison because I need to get some poison going on here, if that's kind of the whole point of this. And I will pick up, I'll probably pick this up next time because I need to go ahead and cut the episode here at 30 minutes, which is pretty good time for an episode here. Actually, it's probably twi uh, two times too long than I'd like it to be with 15 minute episodes, but you know, yeah, we'll deal. Anyways, I will see you guys all next time.